I'm going to read to you from chapter one of Feather. The chapter is called Birds of Paradise and we're inside the Natural History Museum in Swanhurst with Ava Kingfisher who is on a school trip. Drawn towards an arrangement of brightly coloured passerines on perches, she read the white plaque in the case. Paradisidae, birds of paradise, collected by Alfred Russell Wallace, 1857. She blinked, astonished to realise that these were the very birds that Wallace had described in his book about the Malay archipelago. Twitch had told her about the enigmatic birds that lived, hidden and protected in the rainforests of New Guinea. It was his dream to one day make the expedition to see their dazzling displays and curious courtship dances. Reaching into her pocket, Ava got her fingers around her phone, thinking to take a photo to show Twitch. When a long, high whistle, followed by a piercing alarm, sliced through the dusty silence. Startled, she dropped her clipboard, letting out a cry of surprise. Spinning around, Ava searched for a reason for the noise. Her heart was racing. Fear made her skin prickle. She was alone in the gallery. Running to one of the arched windows, Ava looked out. She thought it must be a fire alarm, but she couldn't see any smoke. She sniffed the air. Nothing. People below were hurrying out of the museum looking concerned and Ava spotted Miss Frank waving at the children from her school and Mr Barnes was counting heads and taking a register. She knew she should join them. Hurrying back to Wallace's birds, Ava grabbed her clipboard, shoving it into her rucksack, yanked her phone from her pocket and snapped a photo, feeling a pang at the thought of Alfred Russell Wallace's birds being burned. Oh, they're already dead, Ava, she muttered to herself. Get moving before you are too. The alarm seemed to be ringing inside her head and with a lurch, she remembered that she was on the top floor of the building. That was the worst place to be if there was a fire. She knew not to use the lift because that could be a death trap. She needed to find the stairs. Hearing a door slam and running footsteps, Ava pivoted. At the far end of the gallery was a corridor. Beside it was a sign saying no public access. To the right, she spotted a staircase with a green fire exit sign. She sprinted to it and down to level four. Through a window, Ava glimpsed three police cars pulling up, blue lights flashing, officers leaping from their vehicles, and she paused. Well, they'd got here fast. Where were the fire engines? She heard no more approaching sirens. A security guard jogged out of the building, waving the police inside. And the alarm suddenly fell silent. Ava's skin prickled. The people milling about below looked disgruntled. They didn't look afraid or alarmed. Surely if there was a fire, the police would be outside setting up a cordon, not going inside. Still no fire engines. Was it a false alarm? Had Freddie Rigby set the fire alarm off on purpose like he did at school, but then wouldn't the police be questioning the people outside? Maybe it wasn't a fire alarm at all. Ava was suddenly alert. Her ears were pricked up. Her eyes were wide. What if it was a burglar alarm? She knew that some burglar alarms were connected to police stations and it made sense that the museums would be. What if there was a crime taking place right now? 